your first time here, welcome. Bienvenidos. My name is Susie. This is a super exciting video because it involves food. And it's still summer. I know um, it's almost over, but it's all good. I live in San Diego. It's not super, super extremely hot. You might live like in a 100 degree weather, but it's still pretty hot and I don't feel like cooking, like turning on the stove or the oven. I just get really hot and then, you know, you just don't, I just don't crave hot food during this season. So I put together a few of my favorite meals, snacks, finger foods that are just easy, healthy, nutritious. And if you're in a weight loss journey, these are perfect. And it's just something different. I don't like boring food, so I like to be a little bit creative. If there are certain foods that I love and crave, I just try to recreate them. So I'm really excited to show you guys these recipes. They're, like I said, super simple. You can take them on the go for school, lunch, or work, for picnic, beach, I don't know, just anywhere. I really hope you guys enjoy it and try them. And I hope you guys enjoy this video because we put a lot of work into it. Shout out to my sister and my boo for helping me. And it was really fun filming, so please appreciate it. Please like this video. So I'm just gonna shut up and get into the video because that's why you guys are here. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with a dessert because you guys know me. I'm making this yogurt strawberry paletas um, our first ingredient is half a teaspoon of vanilla extract half a cup of plain Greek yogurt one fourth cup unsweetened almond milk one cup of fresh strawberries and optional blueberries chocolate chips and vanilla sweet stevia drops so we're gonna add our one cup of strawberries to a blender cup then we're gonna add our yogurt make sure it's plain not flavored your almond milk make sure it's unsweetened and your vanilla stevia drops. You can add any sweetener here or you don't have to add sweetener, but I like sweets, so I'm adding that. Vanilla extract and we are going to blend. Okay, so once it's done, we're gonna add it to our compartment. You can find any pop compartments anywhere. I got this at Ikea for about $2. I'm sure you can find them like a Dollar Tree 99 cent store. So just fill them up. Make sure you leave some space for whatever you want to add to them. I added some blueberries to some, some sugar-free dark chocolate chips. You can add some nuts, whatever you like. Coconut would be good, shredded coconut. And we are going to put them in the freezer for a few hours. They are so worth it. Look at these. They're just so good, delicious. Every popsicle is about 25 calories. I'm gonna add the macros here. And these are just perfect for those hot days that you just want something refreshing. Our next recipe is a protein ice cream or a smoothie bowl. Two thirds cups of frozen blueberries, Quest vanilla protein. So we're gonna add the blueberries to the blender cup again. Make sure they're frozen, that's very important. Uh, have a cup of almond milk so we can blend everything together and one scoop of vanilla protein. I like Quest because it just makes it very, very thick. And we are going to blend. The key here is to blend as much as possible. Depending on your protein, if it's too runny, you might wanna add some ice and blend and you should get something like this. As you can see, the Quest protein makes it very thick because it's a mix with casing. And here you just add your toppings. I'm adding some blueberries, some healthy fats, which are some walnuts, some hemp seeds. Shredded unsweetened coconut and bam, amazing treat. Oh my God, guys, I'm so obsessed with sushi. I'm making my favorite sushi roll, which is the Philadelphia roll. I'm making it protein style, which means no rice. We need some smoked salmon. I got this one at Trader Joe's, but I'm sure you can find it at any store. We're also gonna need some sliced avocado and cheese. I'm using this Laughing Cow cheese, cucumber to wrap our sushi, some coconut aminos for some dipping or flavor. You can also use low sodium soy sauce and sesame seeds. 
So this step is very important. We're gonna use half a cucumber peeled and we're gonna go all around the cucumber. Make sure it's thin, but not too thin because you might break it and it won't work out. So just go all around until you reach the seats. You don't want the seats here. So it should look like that. We're gonna assemble our sushi. In the corner of our cucumber, we're gonna add our salmon, avocado, our cream cheese, like I said, I'm using laughing cow. It's 25 calories per triangle and sesame seeds. So you can add whatever you like. It's your sushi roll, but I'm just making the Philadelphia roll. So here we're just gonna tuck everything in and roll. We're gonna roll really tight, carefully, make sure everything stays in. And tuck everything in. And we're gonna use some toothpicks to help us slice this sushi roll. Here I'm making about five to four slices and just cut. And bam, guys, this is one of my favorite summer treats. Fresh, refreshing for when I don't feel like cooking dinner. I'm getting my healthy fats, my protein. Again, make it yours, add shrimp, whatever you like. Some coconut aminos and cheers. Okay, so now we're moving back to dessert because it's time for something sweet. I got that sweet tooth going on. We're gonna make some like five calorie popsicles again, but these are aminos and these are the gummy flavor. You can use whatever you like. These are sour gummy. So you're just gonna prepare your aminos as normal, but we're gonna add less water and gonna make it a little bit more concentrated. So just add your aminos to your water and shake. You can cut up some fruit to add. I'm adding some cut watermelon because summer, the watermelon, fresh, delicious. And all we're gonna do now is pour our aminos to our containers again. Make sure again you don't feel them all the way or you're gonna make a mess. And I decided to add strawberries because that's one of my favorite foods. They're also super, one of the lowest carb fruits, lowest sugar. And I'm gonna also add my watermelon. Again, we're gonna place them in the freezer for a few hours, maybe overnight. And this is what you get. Aren't these so pretty? They're so good, guys. Okay, moving on. Now, spring rolls. These are also so fresh and so good, so delicious, healthy, nutritious. We're gonna start with cooked shrimp, cut in half, some cooked tofu, that I'll show you how I'm cooking them in a little bit, some romaine lettuce, cucumber, mango, avocado, cilantro. You're also gonna need rice paper. So we're gonna start by cooking our tofu. I got this extra firm organic tofu. This one, you have to dry it because it has a lot of moisture and if you leave it with all that moisture, it might not cook how you want it to cook. We're gonna go ahead and slice it, whichever sizes you want. I'm gonna slice it for them to fit into my spring rolls. So after we're gonna place them in a bowl. So I'm adding some liquid soy aminos. Again, you can use low sodium soy sauce if you don't have this. And some sesame seeds. I'm obsessed with these seeds, guys. They're just so good. We're gonna cook our tofu and make sure you leave them there until they become brown. The more, the better, they become crispy. You can even oven bake them, but we're trying to avoid the heat right now, right? So we're gonna flip and they should look brown like that. Okay, so the rice paper. We're gonna dip it in warm water. If you don't know what a rice paper is, it's basically the ingredients are just rice and water. We're gonna go around till it becomes soft it should take like 10 to 15 seconds. Once it's done, you have to work hard or fast, I shall say, because it becomes hard and it's really hard to work with. So we're gonna add our cooked shrimp, our lettuce, mango, 
avocado, our carrot sticks, and we're gonna roll like a burrito. So we're gonna start with at the corners and tuck everything in and we're gonna roll. Make sure it's really tight, everything's in there. It looks pretty and bam, here they are. They are so good. I'm gonna add the calories here. They're about 75 calories per spring roll. I'm gonna show you a tofu version for those vegetarians or if you don't like seafood. I'm gonna place my cooked tofu, lettuce, carrots, cilantro, oh my god, it tastes so good with cilantro, avocado, and some, a little bit of teriyaki sauce for a little bit more flavor. You don't really need it, but it was a really, really delicious addition. As you can see, I'm trying to make it like Asian style. And we're gonna roll again. The less wrinkles, the better, because it looks clean, it looks like you really want to eat it because it looks pretty. We're going to garnish with a little bit of cilantro. And my best friend sriracha, of course. You should definitely try these. Really refreshing, perfect for summer. So I'm gonna show you a lower carb version. I'm using jicama tortilla. I do have a recipe up. Go check it out if you wanna know how to make them. So we're gonna again place our shrimp, our lettuce, everything's gonna be smaller because these are smaller, and our mango, avocado, and we are going to try and roll. This was a little bit harder just because the jicama is not as thin, and it's just, not as flexible so we're gonna take everything in and here you go it doesn't look as pretty but guys it was really good really refreshing just so 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 good really low calorie perfect to take him anywhere on the go so that was it super simple right it honestly takes like five to ten minutes the most to make these recipes you don't need any like crazy ingredients and please if there's certain ingredients you don't like, by all means, make it yours. If you're vegetarian, skip the shrimp and nap tofu or just veggies. Honestly, just whatever you like. So please let me know if you guys liked it. And as always, love yourself and take care of yourself. And thank you for visiting, stopping by and checking out my page. Please subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of my family. Again, I love you guys so, so, so much. Until the next video. Peace.